Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Grenades plugin. As the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to have grenades in Minecraft. You can fully customize them, and as you can see, I have a couple of examples here. So this first one is just defaults. This is what you start with. So if I go ahead and right click it, it will launch up into the air. And then the other one I actually created, you can see there's a nice countdown timer on top and then the explosion will happen. So you can customize it so much, uh, but let's just jump into the plugin. So if we do forward slash G and then G give LC gym and then one, one is the ID of the grenade. And if we do ID two, that will give the grenade that I created. So if we want to edit the grenade we're currently holding, we can do forward slash G validator. So this is kind of like the editor command and then it will pop up a GUI and there's loads of things up here you can turn on and off like the glow, the destroy blocks, fire, countdown. Then you can change stuff about the type of particle, the particle count. So you can left and right click to add or remove that or shift left click to add 10 for example. Then you've got all the different colors. So you've got the special color codes that you could change if you wanted to um, or you can just leave them the same. Then you've got the explosion type, so antimatter, we'll have a look at that a little bit later. So we've got the trail particle, and then if we go over to the left, there's a few things like the countdown time, the model of what we're using, and then the sound. And the most important thing is the power. The power is currently set at two, which is pretty pathetic. So let's go ahead and crank that right up. Let's uh, go to maybe 60 something, and then you can really see the power of this. Uh, you can obviously change the volume and the pitch of the explosion as well. But once you're happy with that, you can close the GUI and then let's go ahead and throw our brand new grenade. So I'm going to throw it. You can see it is now glowing because we turned that on. And I think I set the power a little too high because it's gone all black. And then give it a second. And wow, that is a rather big hole. You can see that blocks are just floating in the air now. That's because of the antimatter type of explosion we chose. And you can see there is an absolutely massive explosion, blocks everywhere, a massive hole in the ground. So if you want to be able to craft this, you can do forward slash G and then set recipe. This will bring up another GUI and you can see that we have our item on the left and then we can just create whatever recipe we want on the right. I'm just going to do a TNT surrounded by diamonds and then click save recipe in the bottom right once you're happy with it. And then we can go ahead and craft it in a workbench. So here's my crafting bench, one TNT in the middle, surrounded by eight diamonds. And there we go, we have created my grenade that I created, and then I can go ahead and throw it. You can do forward slash G update if you've made any changes to the config file. And then if you're just holding a random item and you do forward slash G set and then grenade one, it will set your current item to being a grenade. So you can see I'm now spamming uh, these diamonds and grenades are coming out of my hand. So that is pretty much everything in-game. Let's go ahead and jump into the config files and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there are four YML files. Let's start in the language file. So in here is going to be all of the text so you can see everything that will pop up in chat, the various different commands. So you don't really need to edit that at all. Then we have the recipes.yml. So if we have a look in here, it's going to show all of the recipes we've created. So this is the one that we made in game, if you remember. And then we've got some various tags and other bits of information about it. Then we've got the main config file. And this is a really small file. There's really not too much in here. So there's stuff like a cooldown before you can throw another grenade. And then do you want vanilla recipes to show up when you do four slash G get recipe? So the most important YML file is going to be the grenades.yml. So this is where we want to edit the different grenades. So we can see here, this is grenade number one. Only ID numbers are possible for the name of it. If we scroll down, you can see the default item is an iron block. The display name is just example. You've got law. You've got bits about the particles and the trails. You can obviously change those, the colors, the offset and the count. Scroll down, you've got a bit about sound and then the explosion type, how long it takes to count down. Do you want it to glow? Do you want there to be fire? Do you want it to destroy blocks? And then do you need a permission to craft it, yes or no? So what you can do is literally just copy and paste all of that like I did, and then just change the number to two, for example, or three if we were creating a brand new one. And then that would allow you to make more grenades and you could change all the different features. And I've just copy and pasted this and just created grenade number three. I've changed the item and the display name. But obviously you could go throughout the whole one and just edit as much as you want to change it up. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated to 1.16. And you can see this is a relatively new plugin. The developer is adding lots of different things and constantly updating it. 
and you can see this is the type of crazy explosion that you can do and here are the commands and permissions some of which we saw in game so if you want to download it head over to the spigot page if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting about but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time